Good evening, sir. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening, you are Rajshree? Yes, sir. Uh, please take a seat. Thank you, sir. Rajshree, for the benefit of the panel, can you give a quick introduction, please? Yes, sir. Uh, sir, I am Rajeshri Deshmukh. I belong to Sangamner uh, Tehsil of uh, Ahmednagar district from Maharashtra. Uh, I did my uh, schooling from Sangamner and then graduation from MIT Pune. And after that, I have been preparing for civil services. My optional is sociology and my hobbies are journaling and cooking Maharashtrian cuisine. Shantara, can you tell me something about artificial intelligence? Yes, sir. Uh, sir, I... I, I'm sorry sir, artificial intelligence is a branch of the computer science uh, which uses um, uh, machines uh, or technology uh, to do certain tasks which, uh, which, uh, which was possible only by humans. It uh, behaves like a human and uh, performs those tasks. The major aim of artificial intelligence is to ease human life and perform those tasks, tasks for which the human capabilities are la lacking. So. What jobs would be threatened by the rise of AI? Mm, certainly, sir, many uh, sectors are threatened by AI, uh, the rise of AI. For example, the um, IT in the uh, sector uh, specifically. Uh, for example, we have Chat GPT now, uh, which has made a lot of things easier and uh, uh, has, uh, can also result into layoffs of many people. But uh, uh, in the same time, sir, it has, uh, artificial intelligence can be very useful in certain sectors like defense or even the household work. Uh, so it has both uh, the sides. What is, how is it different from machine learning? Um, sir, machine learning uh, is about uh, uh, using technology to make things easier but with the control of humans and um, th there is a little, a very little difference but I will read more about it sir. Right now I am not able to recall. Okay, um, there is a debate going on about freebies. Have yes. you heard about freebies? Yes sir. So if I put it before you that all freebies are an economic disaster and should be abolished, what would be your response? Uh, sir, uh, certainly it wouldn't be a good idea to abolish all the freebies. Freebies are something which should be given very rationally taking into consideration all the social as well as is it economic aspects of the state or the country. Sorry, I didn't hear clearly. You said they should be abolished? No, sir. No? Okay. Hmm. Please continue. Uh, sir, uh, certain freebies uh, in the form of suppose food uh, or fertilizer subsidy, these are very important for the development of the country. And uh, certain freebies uh, should, uh, should not be uh, given uh, if they are trying, uh, if they are used as a political tool, uh, is what I feel. So, who's to decide what is a political tool and what is not? Uh, sir, I think uh, various stakeholders should be involved in policy making when uh, freebies are to be given in any state, and uh, all the aspects of that particular region should be considered. For example, right. thank you. In the same context, like especially during the elections before the elections, various political parties come out with so many things that promises. So shouldn't there be any agency to ascertain which promises are really practical or they are just for the sake of promise, they are just making fool of people? Uh, sir, I think it will be very difficult to regulate the promises that are made. Uh, each political party has the right to put it manifesto in front of the people. And it is all in a democracy, it is also up to the people's uh, uh, thinking that w uh, what they should believe or not. Okay. okay. Uh, now tell me, uh, you are a civil engineer basically. So can you tell me some recent advancements which have occurred in the civil engineering? So, if I were to talk uh, particularly about India, India has been uh, a, for, a forerunner in the field of civil engineering. Since infrastructure is one of the uh, biggest pillar of the development of India, uh, we have examples like Chenab Bridge or the Atal Tunnel, which seemed very impossible uh, 10 years uh, ago. But today, uh, such projects are an example that civil engineering. Uh, These are the examples of the projects. Yes. Technologically, what exactly has happened in the technology field? Of civil engineering. Uh, sir, in the technology field, uh, various measures are taken so that the buildings infrastructure are disaster uh, resistant. For example, the, uh, if we talk about Chenab Bridge, they have uh, collaborated with IIT Roorkee uh, for, so that the uh, infrastructure is uh, earthquake uh, resistant. 
so these technologies are this brings me to the multi storied buildings specially built in ncr area yes, which is a very earthquake prone area do you think that uh, this particular precaution has been taken by the building manufacturers number one and can something be done about it now even if they are not taken earlier sir i think we, sir i think it comes down to the regulation by the certain agencies uh, if regulations and proper clearances are uh, taken then sir, the disasters which happen due to these uh, buildings uh, can be avoided and regarding the uh, existing buildings uh, there are many processes for example some buildings were demolished recently and certainly all the aspects would have been considered there and uh, if we do not need to abolish then certainly we can uh, add factors of sustainability there for example con uh, thinking of converting those buildings into green buildings